Hello guys, welcome to my channel Learn Tech. This is Sandeep Kohl here. Hope you all guys are doing good. So today's uh, topic which I am going to take is from uh, BMC Discovery and it is uh, related to the application modeling. So today we will see what is application modeling, what are the functional uh, benefits of application mo modeling and how is it uh, used in, uh, you know, in the business processes. So this is what we will see in today's video. So let's get started. So now uh, you can see on my screen that I have something which I can, you know, drag and drop here and there. So you can see this is all, uh, you know, some nodes are being connect shown connectivity. Now, before we move on to this part, uh, we need to understand what is application modeling. Okay. And how we land on this particular page. So application modeling is a concept in uh, BMC discovery or ADDM that uh, where you can, you know, uh, see a graphical or you can see a pictorial view of your whole infrastructure. So your whole uh, infrastructure, which has been discovered uh, previously can be viewed as a picture or a graph. So you know that uh, in the previous videos, we saw that how a discovery can be done, how we can, you know, schedule our discovery, how we can uh, discover our infrastructure system, how we can discover different nodes, different types of infrastructure components in our uh, system. And then uh, once it's discovered, it comes to uh, your um, uh, discovery system. And then, uh, then it is basically, it is segregated in different components depending upon the type of that infrastructure item. And then on top of that, the application modeling helps us in weaving the same thing in a pictorial graph. So we will start uh, from the you know data itself, then we will move on to this application modeling. Okay, so go to go and start with the data. Let me go to the home. I will explain you from where we uh, know reached here and then how we, what we can do in that section. Now let me go to the explore section and here I need to select data. Okay, now you know that um, in the previous videos when we saw that we have done the discovery, we have run the discovery. So then uh, this discovery, what it does, it discovers different components like servers, you know, databases, applications, containers, uh, uh, man sorry, management controllers, then uh, different type of software, software instances, software components, then, uh, you know, routers, switches, nodes, or anything which is there in the infrastructure is discovered by, uh, you know, uh, discovery tool. So it, what it does, it scans the whole environment, gets all the data collected. And then what it does, it places everything in a, in a uh, different container or it segregates the data based on the type of the data. For example, all the hosts will go under this host section. Similarly, all the virtual machines will fall under this particular component. Then uh, we have software and databases, which are, you know, have their own sections where it falls for example software instances containers components then also the db uh, dbs so this is all the discovered data which has been captured from your infrastructure now uh, i have all the data in my system so now uh, what uh, what is the use of this data why i would need this data okay so this we will understand from the application modeling basically uh, we all know that data doesn't have a value unless and until it brings us the information and information doesn't have a value unless and until it helps us in in any uh, business process or it helps us in managing managing our business process so this is a basic concept of it so now we have a data here segregated in different components i have hosts virtual machines clusters uh, containers it's all uh, segregated i cannot say currently uh, like out of these, how many hosts are connected with software instances? How many hosts have uh, softwares from this particular section? Or um, how many application instances are installed on these hosts? Or what is the basically the relationship between all the components? Currently, we have a 
data um, you know data set placed in different containers now uh, we will see this how it can be done through application modeling now let me open one of the application instances here so for example uh, this will open me all the uh, you know discovered items here let me select one of the items and then i need to call this visualize model so you will see that um, i will get a graphical picture of uh, this particular component now what is this uh, different sections blue lines uh, you know uh, brown lines here in this particular section you will see that this is the component which we have uh, you know visualized from our application modeling section now let me just you know let me go deep into this so from here i can you know go inside this now you can see this was the component which i selected now what this application modeling or what this particular graphical system is showing me the relationship between different components it can be a software database server node network with my selected component so this is an i think it is an uh, some uh, um, application instance on uh, azure or it's a, some web service so this particular component is connected to different types of components for example it is connected to microsoft sql server then we have uh, connections to different software instances we have connections to different hosts so this is what it basically is showing me the uh, relationship or the dependency of this particular component on different uh, you know infrastructure items so whatever my uh, you know components i have whatever different nodes i have in my infrastructure how they are connected with this particular application this is what it is showing me now here we have this option like drag and select mode so currently it is in the drag mode so i can drag it from here and there okay so now uh, let me show you that what basically is uh, how it will help us so currently it is just displaying me something connected okay so what is the business case or what is the business use of it that we will see now for example if i go to this display section i have some options okay so currently it is showing me softwares so that means it is showing me the relationship considering the softwares in focus that means it is showing me the relationship that softwares are in focus now let me click here on the infrastructure and let's see what will happen so you will see the whole picture has changed now it is showing me you know different picture on the same page so this particular graph now it has changed from software concentration to server concentration so that means now it is showing me relationship of this particular application uh, instance with different servers how it is connected to different servers and how it is uh, you know dependent on different servers or there are other servers which are dependent on this application so this is how basically the system uh, will you know change depending upon this display now it is like uh depending upon your business case whether you are more concerned on your infrastructure or you are concerned about the software connectivity you can select it from here and then you will get a complete picture based on the selection whatever you have done then you can also change you know uh, this background shading so i will show you a very you know beautiful uh, a picture or the changes which will happen here let me select this location and region currently there is no shading okay so now you can see it has got some balloons in the back uh, for this particular picture so what exactly is this now now this particular uh, you know coloring different coloring different sections are showing me different locations we can see also here if i go here in the display it's showing lo locations and cloud regions so um, my system can be different locations or different uh, you know cloud areas so that also segregation can be checked from here in this particular um, picture so if i select this background then i can see that this server is located in this particular location and then this these different components are located in one location so this way i will be able to identify that how my components in in my infrastructure are based in the system and how they are connected where they are based how they are interrelated which location is connected with which location so this segregation i can know so i will i would know that my server is located in location a 
and if suppose there is an issue in the location a so that means there is an issue with my server so these are the some simple things which we can identify from here but this particular segregation gives me more uh, you know details on the location of uh, my components like if in which data center or which location my components are residing now let me go back here sorry i will go to the display again okay so now um, then uh, you can uh, say um, uh, these are some other options i have like if i click on this show label so it will show me the exact name of my server components or exact name of my you know um, network nodes so these are different options now again it is uh, on us what we exactly need how we are basically you know how our business is based that we can test here how uh, how our um, like uh, what is a business case why we want to see these components whether we have an uh, we need to see a infrastructure connectivity or we need to a software connectivity that also can be done here now let me go to the we have seen this display section let me go to the layout section so here again the layout section it will show you the impact these connectivities it will show you so it will show you currently you can see it is force directed that means it is the directions it is showing uh, the directions between the components now if i change this if i change it the impact so now you will see the whole picture has changed so what it will show it will show you that what is the impact between the components like for example uh, how the components are connected with each other based on what impact so that means that how when you uh, when you basically bring this will be uh, sorry this will help me in identifying what is the impact of this particular component on the whole uh, picture or whole on the network how it is connected with another uh, components that can be uh, you know uh, defined from here in the um uh, you know layout then again i have this option of root at the top i will make this root at the top and then uh, it will show me the impact of the other components suppose this particular component has impact on all these connected nodes okay so this is this is an option you can you know explore this more what is the uh, what are the you know uh, like depending upon your uh, business case you can explore this more now uh, i will go to this section which is show hide now so for example now uh, as i am an infra guy i am not you know interested in software uh, softwares business application instances or any other thing i am more concerned on the host so what i can do i can remove all these components i will only select hosts so you can see how the picture is changing so this is currently showing me only hosts which are there in the uh which may have a relationship with my application so if i select my application you can see it will now only show me hosts which are connected with my application so let me just bring it down just let me drag it here okay now i can see it here okay so it will only show me the components now it will only uh, show me sorry it will only show me the relationship between hosts so i can figure out that by default it will select everything which is related with my particular application like virtual machine subnet host you know some uh, this um, um, any other thing whatever is there in the network related it will show me but i have an option to select what i need basically so i will get the data i will figure out what i need from this i'll get the information and based on that my bus business decisions will be based so this is the main purpose of you know doing application modeling so uh basically when you when you do this application modeling you have a you know motive in your mind that okay i need to do this i need to do that and then based on that you based uh, base your modeling for example you have to design your infra you have to expand your infra you can use this application modeling to understand it that what is my current status what changes i need to do then you can design it so now coming back onto the application modeling so you can again uh, you know select these uh, options here and it will again change the picture and it will again bring it uh, like this okay you can it can showcase it like this how the design will be done now you can also export it uh, you can print it you can export it you can also define it uh, like this you can also you know uh, if in case you want to uh, keep a snapshot of of your 
system you can do that here in the um, in this section in the export section you can also um, export this and then later when you are making changes you can you know match it or you can define how what changes we have done how we have to do the changes so that also can be done here then uh, if i uh, you know remove any of the notes let me go back here just i will showcase you okay now everything is connected so currently you know we have, don't have anything remote notes now i'll show you from here also what i can do for example i do not need this node so i will remove this node so it will delete it from the picture and then it will rearrange my components similarly i do not need this ddb capital i will remove it so it will rearrange my picture now the removed notes will come here and in case i need to add them i can go back and add so now my uh, application sorry my my application modeling uh, has rearranged itself based on my uh, components which i have removed now there is one more thing which you can do uh, you here itself you can see there is a this plus sign here on each of the components if i click on this it will show me if there are any more related nodes currently you can see if i have clicked on this it is not showing me anything because no more related nodes so there is no more related nodes with it similarly if i expand this it is showing yeah so it has some related nodes so it has got me you know it has expanded it more it has expanded it more to a to more uh, sections so this is how basically we define an ap application modeling how we do you know uh, check now um, for me uh, the main purpose of this application modeling is that i i would understand my infra i would uh, you know um, see how components are related what is the dependency and then i will design my infra now here uh, there is one more option you can do uh, i think i cannot see it here uh, just a minute let me let me go back here okay so remove notes uh, i can again now for the remove notes i can edit them from here and it will again bring back the bring them in in the picture and again connect them to the so uh, sorry so here um, there is one more section called model model means you can define your own model you can define your own uh, setup you can create your own model then you can add components you can connect them the relationship basically changes based on your um, addition so you can design your own infra this was just what we have picked up from the existing list and then we saw what is basically in internally related so what you can do you can design your own infra from the modeling application modeling you can create your own uh, infra and then publish it once it is published the new relationships will be created for example currently the server a is related with uh, three components but in your new infra you do not want server a to be connected with three you instead want them to be connected with two components so what you can do you can design a new model connect the server with those two components and then publish the you know uh, your uh, model and then it will be the relationships will be maintained accordingly so that can be done here i think application modeling uh, is okay it is only available for um, software connected devices sorry i forgot that so let me go back here let me select softwares i think we have to reset it okay let me select the software connected devices okay now uh, my application modeling is so this is enabled so if i click here now you can see here create new application model so you can either start a new application model as in is saying or you can add this to existing model so you can uh, see any existing model or add this to a new so now these changes which i have done is um, uh, for this particular you know modeling uh, application i have done certain changes then i can either create a new application model for myself or i will add this to an existing model so that would be uh, you know i have to pick it from here now example for example i need to create a new model i will say create a new model then you can define your components you can add the components you can delete the components here and then you can save it and then publish it and once it is published then it becomes your new application model this is how it is basically done so this was just a basic understanding of you know application modeling so in future i would be taking uh, more videos and we, i will detail out 
if there are any new things in it you can explore it from your side and then you know uh, figure out what um, additional things can be done on this particular case this is it uh, from my side as of now you can explore it from your side and then uh, let me know if we have missed anything then we can take it in future videos okay thank you thanks for watching my videos thank you